Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about uh, law of junctions. Okay. So, what is the significance of law of junctions? Law of junctions uh, uh, gives us the variation of uh, uh, injected carrier concentration with respect to the applied voltage. Okay. So, that is the law of junction significance. So, here I am going to explain what is the uh, carrier concentration that is injected carrier concentration equation in n type and at the same time in p type okay so for that one i am taking this uh, pn junction okay so this one is i am taking as this side as p region and this side is n region so first i will derive uh, the equation of uh, injected hole concentration in n type semiconductor or n type region of the pn junction okay so for that one here i am taking this diagram so here i have pn of x uh, that is the total hole concentration with respect to the distance x pn of x and pn not is nothing but uh, the hole concentration in n type semiconductor region at equilibrium condition and this pn dash of 0 is very important one that is pn dash of x uh, is nothing but the injected carrier concentration with respect to the x distance x in n type semiconductor so here it is a uh, whole concentration in n type semiconductor nearer to the junction or we can also call nearer to the spray charge region in n side okay so here throughout this one first i will consider the whole concentration injected whole concentration uh, i will calculate the equation and after that i will extend that one to the electron concentration injected electron concentration in p type region okay so here further this is uh, these are the notations i have used here pn of pn0 is the whole concentration in n type region at equilibrium condition so that is this one it is a constant value next pn of x is the whole concentration in n type semiconductor in forward bias with respect to the x okay so next one is pn of 0 it is nothing but nearer to the junction what is the whole concentration in n side okay so pn dash of x is injected excess carrier concentration with respect to the x uh, that is nearer to the junction or uh, we can say that uh, excess carrier concentration also so if i consider x equal to 0 so i have pn of pn dash of 0 that is the total value here pn dash of 0 nearer to the junction uh, x equal to 0 that is pn dash of 0 injected hole concentration in n side at x equal to 0 okay so now the injected hole concentration in n side with respect to x is here if you observe this one the total concentration is this so here the total concentration we consider as pn of x after applying the forward bias the total concentration of holes in the n side is pn of x this is the total one okay from this one if i subtract uh, pn over the equilibrium value so that i will get the pn dash of x okay so therefore pn dash of x the injected carrier concentration with respect to x is equal to pn of x pn of x minus pn o here we have okay and at the same time another form another one we will consider is so this injected carrier concentration will varies with the x but how it will varies here so it will varies the starting value or maximum value is pn dash of 0 and it is gradually decreasing or exponentially decreasing with respect to the distance so we have to consider that equation also so that means what here pn dash of 0 this is the total value that is decreases exponentially with respect to x so here i am taking e power minus x by lp so here lp is the diffusion length of the holes lp is the diffusion length of holes length of uh, holes okay so this is equation one i am considering here uh, next uh, i am writing here uh, injected hole concentration at x equal to 0 so that means what i am substituting x equal to 0 in this equation number 1 so if i substitute that one what i will get is pn dash of 0 that is equal to pn of 0 minus pn of okay so from this one you can substitute pn dash of 0 
here we have pn of x x equal to 0 so that becomes pn of uh, uh, 0 minus pn o so this equation i am taking as equation number 2 okay so basically here we are going to use three uh, three points the first point is uh, Boltzmann's relationship of kinetic gas theory and second one is when we apply uh, open circuit condition or unbiased condition what is the concentrations of holes and next one is if you apply the forward bias what happened to the hole concentration these three points we are going to use to derive the equation for injected carrier concentration out of that the first one is from the Boltzmann's relationship of kinetic gas theory PP, P suffix P is nothing but the whole concentration in P type semiconductor that is equal to uh, the whole concentration in N type semiconductor multiplied with E power VB by VT. Okay, so here VB is nothing but after formation of uh, uh, PN junction, uh, the barrier potential will be there. So that VB is called as what? Barrier potential and VT is nothing but the voltage temperature coefficient and its value is equal to Vt is equal to Kt by Q. Okay, K is what here, Boltzmann's constant and T is the temperature and Q is the charge of the hole. Okay, so therefore Vt is the voltage temperature coefficient and Pp and Pn, what are the Pp and Pn are the hole concentration at the edge of this phase charge region. So if you consider this is the Pn junction, so this one is x equal to 0 and this is P type and this is N type. Okay, so the whole concentration at the edge of the depletion region in P type, this is the P type, this is the edge of the depletion region or space charge region in P type and this is the edge of the uh, space charge region in N type. So here PP and PN are the uh, whole concentrations in the edges of the space charge region in P side and N side. So that's what here we have PP and PN are the whole concentrations at the edge of the space charge region in PN and type material. It is only whole concentration we are taking. Okay. Now, if you consider at open bias condition, okay, at open bias, so, uh, sorry, at open circuit condition or unbiased condition, so the carrier concentration or the whole concentration is equal to the equilibrium value. Okay. So therefore, I will write if the junction is unbiased and it is at equilibrium condition. Equilibrium condition means we can write this one as PP as that is the whole concentration uh, is PPO and the electron concentration in the uh, sorry whole concentration in the N side is PNO. Okay, just we are equating the equilibrium conditions. So the PN junction is at open circuit condition and at the same time that is at equilibrium then the whole concentration in P side is equal to PP is equal to PPO and the whole concentration in N side is nothing but PN is equal to PNO and at the same time there is a barrier potential that uh, open circuit uh, or at equilibrium condition I am taking that barrier potential as V0 okay so therefore VB is equal to barrier potential is V0 and at equilibrium PP is equal to PPO and PN is equal to PNO that is whole concentrations in P type and N type at equilibrium condition and voltage is equal to barrier potential VB is equal to V0. So substitute these three values in equation number 3. So PP is equal to what? PPO and PN is equal to what? PNO and in place of VB what we have to substitute that is uh, the equilibrium con uh, condition barrier potential that is nothing but V0. So finally we got the equation as PPO is equal to PNO e power V0 by Vt. So this is the equation we got. So I am taking this equation as 4. Okay. Now after that I am applying the forward bias condition. Okay. So if I apply the forward bias condition what happened? The depletion region will be decreases. Automatically the barrier potential is also decreases from its equilibrium value V0. Okay, by what voltage? By the applied voltage. Therefore, if we apply the external voltage, so previously it is Vb, uh, that is V0 at equilibrium condition. So if I apply the forward bias, uh, what happened? That barrier potential will be decreases. So therefore, uh, if I apply the forward bias like this, it is P and it is N. So this width will be decreases. So the barrier potential is also decreases. Therefore, the barrier potential decreases by V0 minus V. 
So if we apply the external bias V, the VB reduces to V0 minus V from its equilibrium value. So that's what here, at equilibrium V0 we are taking, as I apply the forward bias, so that barrier potential will be decreases to V0 minus V. Okay, so that is what uh, we can consider instead of VB. Okay, at the same time, if I apply the forward bias, the holes will move from P type to N type and if I consider the concentration nearer to the R edge of the depletion region, so I can write it as Pn is equal to the Pn of 0. Okay, so what I consider, the concentration varies with the distance, so therefore, at the edge of the depletion layer, at x equal to 0, in forward bias condition, Pn is equal to Pn of 0. Okay, so and at the same time, uh, the whole concentration throughout the P region is constant and it is equal to the its equilibrium value. So that is nothing but PP is equal to PP naught. Okay. So I will substitute now this VB is equal to V naught minus V and PP is equal to PPO and PN is equal to PN of 0. Because it is applied uh, after applying the forward bias, what is the concentration in an entire material? So that is PN of 0. So if I if I if I put all these values again in the equation number 3, okay, uh, that is equal to Vb is equal to V0 minus V and Pn is equal to Pn of 0, sorry here it is Pn of 0 and Pp is equal to PPO, so we will get uh, in this equation if you substitute, so we will get PPO is equal to Pn of 0 e power V0 minus V by Vt. Okay, so here we have considered the three equations, one is Boltzmann's equation and after that open circuit condition and after that forward bias condition. Okay, all these three equations we have, that is, this is Boltzmann's constant, after, uh, before applying the forward bias, this equation we will get and after applying the forward bias condition, we will get this equation. Okay, if we observe equation 4 and 5, uh, 4 and 5 here. So on LHS side both PPO and PPO is there. So we can equate the RHS. Therefore from equation 4 and 5 LHS are equal. So equal the right hand side. So if I equate the uh, right, hand, right hand side PNO e power V0 by Vt that is equal to PN of 0 e power V0 minus V by V. Okay. So here uh, I am writing that PNO e power v0 by vt that is equal to pn of 0 this one is nothing but e power v0 by vt multiply with the e power minus v by vt i can write this equation as like this okay so it is nothing but e power a multiply with e power minus b so it is a power minus b okay so that similarly that uh, that expansion i am using here so that you will get e power v0 by vt multiply with e power minus v by vt so here, if you consider this one, uh, in this side it is e power v0 by vt and here also we have e power v0 by vt. Both will be cancelled and the remaining thing I am writing as here, that is pn of 0 is equal to, pn of 0 is equal to pn0 into, this e power minus v by vt is there, so that it will come to here, so that it will become positive. So that is pn of 0 is equal to, PNO e power V by Vt. So this equation I am taking as equation number 6. Okay. So now what I am doing is here this PN of 0 I am substituting in the injected carrier equation that is equation number 2 here we have PN dash of 0 that is injected carrier concentration at x equal to 0 is equal to PN of 0 minus PN0. So we have calculated Pn of 0, substitute this value in this equation. So what we will get here? So Pn dash of 0 that is equal to Pn of 0, Pn of 0 is Pn naught e power V by Vt minus Pn naught. So if you consider here, Pn naught is the common term. So if I take the common Pn naught, so what we will get? Pn dash of 0 that is equal to Pn naught e power V by Vt minus 1. Okay. So this is the injected hole concentration in the n-type uh, semiconductor region. Okay. So this indicates what this above equation indicates. The injected carrier concentration is depends on the applied voltage. That, that is nothing but the significance of law of junction. 
okay so here it is the injected hole concentration of it will depends on the voltage applied voltage v similarly we can derive the same equation for the injected electrons concentration uh, in p type semiconductor and how it will be depends on applied voltage so if you derive in a similar manner so we will get uh, np dash of zero that is nothing but the electron concentration injected electron concentration in p type uh, is equal to the npo that is nothing but uh, the electron concentration at uh, equilibrium condition multiply with e power v by vt minus 1 okay so if you observe these two equations the injected carrier concentration is mainly depends on the applied voltage so that is the significance of law of junction so these two conditions or these two equations this and this equation will represents the law of junction equations for a pn junction diode okay so this is for injected carrier concentration of holes and it is electrons okay so these two are we can say that the law of junction equations for a pn junction diode okay thank you thank you for watching please subscribe our channel